Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here. In today's video, we look at Cooking Simulator. It's a brand new PC game, just released last Friday on Steam, and it's on sale for the first week. It's only $15. So I decided to pick it up, to see what the buzz is all about, because a lot of people are playing this game this weekend. At the start of the game, you learn that you're a new guy employed in a restaurant that has a pretty bad rating, and your task will be to bring the restaurant back to its former glory. So Basically, what you're going to have to do is try to do good, try to cook good food and serve it fast. And you have to manage your money at the same time. At the start of the game, you have the option to do the tutorial. They're going to show you around. Uh, you're going to have to repair some broken equipment and you're going to have to buy your first items. To repair stuff, you have to pick up the phone and call a repair company. You click the items that you need to repair and it's going to cost you money. After that, you will have to buy some equipment and it's gonna help you prepare the food. Once you're ready to cook, you're gonna have to go in a menu and select a few recipes to get you started. Still in the tutorial, you're gonna have to prepare your first meal. And for the first few things you're gonna do, they will guide you through it. You have a, a list on the bottom left and they tell you everything you have to do one by one. So it's pretty easy. The tough thing though is the controls. It's pretty tough to get around, but once you get to play a little bit, you get used to the controls. But it's pretty tough at the start and uh, really hard to do it right. Some little things also you have to learn by playing. Like you cannot grab something that's hot, uh, so you gotta bring a plate obviously. So you waste a lot of time at the start uh, getting to learn the game mechanics. Another thing I learned the hard way is get ready to break a lot of plates. So it's gonna cost you some money, of course. And there you go, like two plates in a row. Get ready to break a lot of stuff, by the way. Once you're done preparing your meals, you can take a photo of your dish, which is pretty cool, I think. And then I guess you can share on the social medias. That was my first meal in the game. Anytime you're done serving a meal, you will get a rating at the end for the taste, the realization time, and an overall score. Based on that, you will get fame point, you get experience, you get money, you get tip. Now the cool part is when you get experience, you will level up, you earn skill points, and you also get perks when you level up. There's a bunch of perks that will be really helpful later, like steady hands uh, is the one they recommend for new players. So when you're cutting stuff, it's not going to move around like crazy. It's much easier to cut stuff. Now, upgrading your skills, you also get three skill points. Uh, you can read the skills, see what you think is going to be better for your play style, I guess. But there's a lot of skills to choose from. Now, after a few meals, you don't have the help anymore on the bottom left. You, you have to check the recipes on the screen. Uh, anytime you prepare a meal, you have to check the ingredients and uh, the steps you have to go through to prepare your meals. And as you get more fame, it gets harder because you get more clients. So sometimes you have two meals to prepare at the same time. And I'm guessing it's going to get harder and harder as you progress. But there's a lot of stuff around the kitchen. You get timers to help you uh, not forget to remove something from the oven and stuff like that. Uh, from time to time, you'll get some visits from food critics. And this is really important that you do the recipe right and you try to serve in time because the rating will affect the future of your restaurant. Now, when you have some free time, you can try to clean up a little bit because you're going to make a mess. I guarantee you the controls at the start, super hard to get used to. You're going to really mess up. You're going to break stuff. You're going to spill, uh, but it's a lot of fun. Now, at the start of the day, you have a little bit of time to prepare before the restaurant opens. So it's a good idea to prepare some stuff that you think you'll maybe need later, like prepare a large portion of soup or cook some potatoes that you think you'll need later in the game. So you can go to your computer and check the recipes. They're always there. And then you can prepare stuff. So overall, this game is a lot of fun. I played a few hours already. And I will play more on stream later. It takes a while to get used to the controls, like I said, and uh, even after a few hours, you still mess up a lot, make some mistakes here and there, and a bit too much salt or not enough water, and uh, you're going to lose some points. But yeah, trying to get better and uh, enjoy so far. Leave me a comment below if you want to see more of this. 
and let me know if you played already and how you did so far i will leave you guys with some gameplay some stuff that happened to me in my first few hours hope you enjoy the gameplay and i will see you guys later take care